Good morning. I'm with Kelly Wishart from Coastline EAP, who's here to help walk us through some of the challenges we've all been facing uh, coming back from COVID. Kelly, good morning and thanks so much. Good morning, Lauren. I'm so thrilled to be here. Thank you so much for the chance to meet, meet you and also to support the success of all the chamber members. Thank you. So tell us what you have in store today. Okay, so today we're going to talk a bit about um, tips for talking with employees about COVID. Um, in general, COVID and then some conversation about COVID vaccines. Um, obviously, we all have our own experiences as they relate to COVID, whether or not a family member has has sadly died from COVID or we've had COVID or maybe you're one of the lucky few families um, who haven't had an experience with COVID yet. And, and as an employer, you know, we want to be as supportive and respectful of our employees as possible. So I'm hoping that these tips will help you with that exact thing. So the first tip I want to share with you is about educating yourself. Educating yourself is the single best way for you to be a responsive employer. Knowing the facts for yourself will always help you to be as supportive as possible. And I've shared three things here, the Rhode Island Department of Health's website, OSHA's website, and the CDC's website are the single best resources that you have available. So educating yourself is tip number one. Tip number two is be a trusted resource for your employees. You wanna use and refer tr to trusted information from those resources that I just shared on the slide before. And there are other resources available to you and your employees. Many health insurance companies that are providing care to our employees also have COVID resources on their websites and on their employee facing apps that they have for uh, their websites. So you may also have an EAP provider and that website and those apps also have the most current up-to-date COVID information available. So you wanna refer your employees and be a trusted resource. So tip number three is be consistent. Regular updates, keeping employees informed goes a long way in alleviating fear and tamping down misinformation and rumor mills. Even if you don't have any significantly new information, a regular email, a group text, a broadcast voice message, or posting to your intranet will show employees that you are continuing to be concerned about their health and well being. Make communications engaging, use QA formats and newsletters. And in times like these, there's almost no way to over communicate. Tip number four is about listening to and responding to your employees' concerns. Giving folks an opportunity to express their concerns, to be heard, is one of the single most powerful ways for you as an employer to gain the support of your employees. As managers and leaders, we have to put aside our own biases to be good listeners for our employees. Hold a listening session a coffee break style session, in person if you can, or on Zoom if you can't. Another suggestion might be to have a stand-up meeting, gather in a conference room or in the lobby where folks can get their questions out. And you don't have to answer the questions right away. You may not have the answers. So the next day or the day after, have another stand-up meeting where you provide those answers to the employee questions. Another part of this really is about listening to questions with empathy. Acknowledging the emotions of your employees so they know why, that they have been heard, for example, is also important. You might wanna say to folks, it sounds like you're stressed here and at home and you're concerned about the vaccine and that's probably another source of stress for you. That must be really difficult. You don't wanna say things like, well, that's silly. Science says it's all okay. Why would you be worried? Rather, you're gonna to wanna to ask, 
What worries you about it? What worries you about the vaccine? How would you feel about maybe speaking with your primary care physician about your concerns? Suggesting where they might go for trusted information will also help to allay fear. In particular, I know that there's been lots of conversation, including here at Coastline, because we're a smaller organization, lots of conversation about to vaccinate or not vaccinate. I'm sure that's on everybody's mind almost on a daily basis. Many of you as members of the Central Rhode Island Chamber are probably organizations of under 100 employees. And as we know, we're not required to have a vaccination plan per se. However, as a good community citizen, we want what's best for our state and for our employees. So we might want to issue guidance to our staff about vaccination and come up with policies. And that'll be another quick quick hit that we do another time about policy development. But when you're talking to employees about vaccinations, you might consider this particular approach. Ask if you can give them some information. Don't just dump information on staff and assume that they're going to understand it or read it or listen to it, but asking first if they would like to hear it, if they would like some more information. That will help them to find their own reason to get vaccinated. We all have our own reason for vaccinating or not vaccinating. And the reasons that someone chooses to get vaccinated are going to be different across the board. I chose to get vaccinated because I care for an elderly parent. So even though my workplace didn't require it, it was required in my personal life. Another thing you might wanna do is if someone says they'd like to get vaccinated and they're not sure how, help them to get the information to make their vaccination happen. You might consider giving them an extra half hour at lunchtime to go get their vaccination, to make sure they have the information about where vaccinations are available so that they can go. Um, maybe you can have two or three buddy up and go together. So responding to employees' concern by sharing information, helping them find their own reason to be vaccinated, and providing information about where vaccinations can happen are all key elements to responding to our employees' concerns. So here at Coastline, we think we might be able to help you out should you need it, and here's how we can help. Coastline offers a wide variety of services and supports for both you as an employer and for employees. We are a partner with you in creating an organizational well being strategy for all your employees. We conduct workplace referrals if there's an issue that someone's having at work and they need support and help. And we offer live wellness sessions, and that has been a big hit during COVID, helping people to work through their stress using mindfulness techniques. And you'll see on this slide and the next slide, there's several other ways that we can help. So if you find that you want some help from us, please feel free to contact us, uh, myself, Kelly Wishart, or Paula Hamilton at the number on the screen. We're really looking forward to supporting your success and visiting you again in another brief tips on how to support your employees. Kelly, thanks so much. This has been great. We appreciate it. And if any of our viewers have topics that you'd like to see covered, please let us know with the Central Rhode Island Chamber. Thank you again. We'll see you soon in another session. Thanks, Lauren.